How's it going lads, I'm Nucleus and welcome back for more of the latest VR news. In this video we're going to take a look at the incredible new Lynx Mixed Reality headset. But first, if you're new here and enjoy what I do, then please consider subscribing. Uh, you can always unsubscribe later and it means you will never miss out on any of the latest VR news. That's it, into the video. Enterprise-focused French headset startup Lynx introduced its mixed reality headset, the Lynx R1. The headset is focused on both VR and pass-through AR, and the company revealed its redesign recently, which makes the headset even more compact and aims to maximize the user's peripheral view for pass-through AR. The headset itself is due to start shipping in September, along with such headsets as the Reverb G2 and possibly the Quest 2, so we'll see about that. The Lynx R1 is of course a mixed reality headset uh, designed around both VR and pass-through AR together. At £1,500, the headset is not cheap and is aimed mostly at enterprise market. That said, if you are super rich, you may be able to just pick one up on your own, so uh, yeah, might as well. The Lynx R1 is, uh, of course, the first in a new generation of XR2 powered headsets and when the company introduced the headset earlier this year it said that its compact design was thanks largely to light folding optics which not only decreased the distance between the eye uh, the lenses and the display but also hide the eye tracking camera directly at the center of the lens the Lynx R1 really is an amazing piece of tech, but let's have a look at its specs. The R1 contains a 1600 by 1600 pixels per eye display, which is pretty good for a standalone headset. Both the Quest and Rift S um, is uh, it's above both of them. The refresh rate of 90Hz is very good as well for a standalone headset, and it's better than the Rift S as well, which is incredible. Um, the Rift S, of course, one with 82Hz. The Lynx R1 has a field of um, view of 90 degrees, not too great, but it also has a physical IPD adjustment slider as well, which is really nice. These are very decent specs and the headset is very impressive. Um, I'll just put a quick comparison on the screen, you can see how much smaller the, the R1 is in comparison to the Oculus Quest, it is amazing. But Lynx have as well to cut down on size, have housed some of the internals in the back of the headset, which I think is just a great idea, as it firstly balances out the headset, and it's just so cool the way the small French co startup company, company have developed this incredible headset, and I think it will do incredibly well. That said, I'm not sure how well it will be received by enterprises, as it's coming out alongside the uh, Reverb G2, which is going to have that ridiculous display, and hopefully paired with the better tracking capabilities, it will be pretty much unstoppable. And then also, um, that said, this is an XR2 based headset, so I'm not sure what will happen with all of the masses amounts of other XR2 headsets which will be coming out at around the same time. Of course, there'll be that big rush, many, many, many Minged Windows Mixed Reality headsets will be coming out around the same time, so yeah, I don't really know the competition. Um, but then that said, it has been released early, so I'm sure that a lot of people will catch on to it. Also, there's of course Vajo VR, their products, very similar, they have the retina displays on their products, which I'm sure is incredible for enterprises, and I would love to try, but... Roger, if you're out there, hit me up. I'd love to try it. Um, but yeah, that's all I really wanted to know. You know, I just want to notify you on this incredible headset. Um, if you want to know a bit more, um, then my Twitter is NewCluesVR, at CluesVR. Uh, if you want to just go over there and follow that, then do. I'll just be posting news before it's in a video, and I go into a little bit more detail in the video. But yeah, go over there if you want to. But that's all for now. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you soon for more of the latest VR news. Thanks lads.